This vlog is a really exciting one because we've been planning on doing this for a long time and it's finally going to happen. Hopefully over the next couple of days we'll be able to finish this project. We are remodeling the inside of Harvey. Um, we're going to do a bunch of stuff like floors, walls, painting cabinets. I'm going to try my hand at like reupholstering some things. Um, I'm just going to use a staple gun because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I figure, I don't know, if it doesn't work, we can figure something else out. And we're going to make new like pillow covers, everything that you can think of to change without actually getting new appliances and furniture, we're going to try to do. So um, tonight we're starting with the flooring and the walls. And cabinets. We're just going to kind of try to get all the supplies. Uh, we tried Home Depot, but they didn't have what we were looking for, which is vinyl wood planks. Um, they're like peel and stick, really like flexible, and um, yeah, so they didn't have them at this Home Depot, but we're going to Lowe's now, which is just a couple minutes away, because they do. Somebody threw out a perfectly good pure leaf. Right now, we are in Rochester, New Hampshire, and we're like right on the border of me. Like, you could probably walk into me. I mean, we definitely could, because technically, you can walk anywhere in the continent of the United States, but I'm saying we could do it probably in a moderately short amount of time. And I'm excited about that, because I like being. That's where my grandparents lived my whole life. So we used to come up here to visit them, and we would like go swimming at a lake because it was in the summer and we would like hang out and um, walk around in the woods. This so one time I sat on top of like a little playhouse in my grandparents backyard and I got sap all over my shorts and they were ruined and I just had sap on me for the rest of the night and it was very upsetting. big straw man carrying the heavy things for me. like the vinyl wood floor stuff, like the peel and stick kind, because it's really lightweight on our floors. And we don't know anything about home improvement and we were just like very eager, you know? So we kind of put it in wrong because usually kind of like stagger the pieces so that it's like, here's the end of this one, here's the end of the one next to it. And then we also painted these cabinets a rusty red color. Ooh, I, love it. I like it too. And I did the handles like blue and I painted little white flowers on them. And, um, so I also reupholstered these cushions. I put a piece of plywood in the back of each of these so that I could use a staple gun and just staple the fabric to it. Um, I, we also got this like paper at Walmart for like five dollars that looks like wood and I just stuck it to the table. And I like reupholstered these things here with like a faux leather thing. Uh, staple gun again. We love that staple gun and we painted the walls like this one's brown obviously green over here and oh also There was a bed up here. That's where Joe and Taylor stayed when we were on our trip and um, We got rid of it because it was gross and we found out that this nice wood stuff was underneath it And so this is where we keep the kitty litter extra blankets Kitties, we keep kitties. Yeah. Just a little bit of what we did. Um, so we grabbed a magnetic like adhesive strip thing and put it on here so we could have magnets. So this one works. This one didn't, so I had to put Velcro on it. But I just really liked it. I wanted it up there. And then we got like chalk paper and put it on the fridge part. So sometimes we put a grocery list on here. But that doesn't happen a whole lot. It's mostly just so I can draw stuff on it based on the season. Whatever. So 
use that. And our Shane and Emily goals. Our goal list. These are Shane's goals, they're not my goals. I just want to have a baby. But Shane <laughs> won't let me. He won't give me a baby! Give me a baby. And then we got our bookshelf. So we also put up some lights in different places to kind of give it that warm glow ambiance thing. Um, we're going to put up colorful ones when it's Christmas time, but right now we just did the clear ones. It's really nice at night. We also spent like lots of money on decorations at Hobby Lobby and part of it was because of the fabric. Fabric is expensive, you know, but we got like this little sign that was like part of the fall decorations but it goes with the colors perfectly and we got my little scarecrow who i love so much and um we got this cool little lamp over here at an rv store and um i like that one got a little fall wreath 